Nowadays, many companies are using Docker and Kubernetes to deploy the application and web API in different platform that apps will work seamlessly in all the environments. Hi, I am Prachet and in this video we will see how we can deploy .NET Web API in Kubernetes cluster. So let's get started. So these are the prerequisites for this code. First one is the Visual Studio code for creating web API in .NET and uh, Docker desktop for containerize the application and deploy it on Kubernetes cluster locally. Last one is to have the basic understanding of Docker and Kubernetes. So the second one is like you know Docker for desk desktop. Uh, let me tell you like once you install the Docker desktop. Uh, make sure enable kubernetes cluster should be checked so that it is start a single node cluster single node kubernetes cluster on your machine so before jumping to a uh, demo let's take a look on basic term of docker and kubernetes the so first one is the what is docker it's a containerized platform which packages your application and all its dependency together in the form of container so that your application works seamlessly in any environment whether it's a development or production second one is what is docker file it's an instruction file to build images what is docker images docker images are used to create containers when a user runs a docker image an instance of a container is created these docker images can be deployed to any docker environment what is docker container docker container include the application and all its dependencies together last one is the uh, you know kubernetes so kubernetes is an open source orchestrator software for automating deployment scaling and management of containerize the application all right so let's jump to the demo and we will see how we can create the api in dotnet through visual studio and then we will deploy the application on Kubernetes cluster uh, through the Docker and Kubernetes. All right. So I have opened the Visual Studio code, and uh, here we create the web API. So uh, first of all, you have to select any folder. You can create the folder anywhere in your drive, and select uh, that folder by uh, by open folder option from the file uh, menu and then click on the new terminal so it will open one terminal for you where we can you know write our command over here and uh, uh, I will select the command prompt rather than PowerShell okay so we are in that folder and uh, we will create a, uh, we will create you know one API so uh, the first command like which is you know where which we can create the uh, web api in dotnet so it's a dotnet dotnet new web api and then you have to give the name of uh, api name so let me give one name that is the demo API. So once you you know completed your command, just hit plus enter. So it will take some time to create the API. All right. So the API has been created successfully. Let me build that uh, API. All right, so I'm getting the error saying that uh, specify project or solution. The current directory does not exist a project or solution file. So I have to select the uh, demo API folder where my API is created. that 
folder now and then i uh so i can you know build the my build my api is taking some time i think a few seconds okay it's done and uh, it did succeed and uh, we don't receive any warning and uh, error and i you know getting one more um the folder for you know for my docker file i will show you but uh, just you know uh, use that command for creating the release folder We are good now. Now uh, we can, you know, run this API to test that whether it's running successfully or not. So the command is dot net run. Okay, so uh, it's. Uh, now up and running here we can see that it's listening on you know uh, this http local host and the port is 5000 so i am going to copy this uh, url and the controller name is weather forecast so i will show you that whether the service is running or not so i am i have already copied the uh, url and i will put in the browser to see it's running or not okay so uh, i am going to put that url so it's http localhost colon 500000 and uh, i have to select the weather forecast or if it is not coming then just type weather forecast all right here you can see that uh, uh, i am getting the response and if i refresh it then it's showing me the response in json so uh, we have to create the uh, docker file to containerize our application so here we are you know creating i mean we will create our docker image so for that we have to create the docker file so let me uh, open that uh, uh, let me create one file so uh, i have select the new file and i am going to give the name docker file okay so uh, we have to you know write some command to create the docker file i have already prepared the command uh, for the same so uh, let me explain you like what is that so first one is like it's a base image uh, for the asp.net 5 it's a basically .net core 5 and uh, we are copying the uh, you know uh, the file uh, from you know this location to the app location and then uh, setting the working directory and the entry point uh, will be like you know it's our demo api dot dll so let me save this one and uh, uh, we have to open the new terminal so once again like we have to select the command prompt don't select the power shell so let me delete this one and uh, uh first like we have to go to the you know our folder which is you know demo api all right so now we are on that folder where our docker file is there 
and we have to now uh, build our docker i mean to create the image we have to use the docker build command so let me write that command docker build and then give the name i'm giving the demo image and then give the docker file name so docker file dot so dot denotes like you know we are speaking on the same location Alright, so it's you know pulling the image. Alright, so uh, so it's created it's created the uh, image Docker image. Let me check whether it's created or not. Okay, so the command is Docker images, and we can see that our image has been created demo hyphen image now we have to create the uh, pod file so that we can deploy our you know this image into the kubernetes cluster so let me you know create one folder I'm giving the Kubernetes name. In that folder, like uh, uh, I'm creating the pod file. So you can give any name, but uh, I'm giving the pod dot. But extension should be y m l yml file. Okay, so I have already prepared the yml file for this uh, demo so it's very simple that uh, we have to give the api version and uh, then what kind of ml we are creating so it's a pod and uh, what is the metadata so you can give any name i am giving the demo hyphen web and uh, so this is the you know most important part of this yml specification so uh, we are giving the uh, specification for the container which is going to create in the uh, cluster. So name is, the, uh, I have mentioned this .NET web. Image is name is demo hyphen image. So image name should be the same, which you have created uh, just, you know, few day, few minutes before. And uh, image pull policy is, I selected the if not present. It means that, uh, uh, you know first it to find the image locally if it is not find then it pull the image uh, from the repository port name you can give any so i have given the web and the container port uh, uh, you know uh, i mentioned 80 so it will listen on the 80 so let me save this uh, yaml file and then again i am going to select the new terminal and then uh, the yaml command prompt rather than you know choose the powershell so let me enter into the uh, folder that is the demo api and then go to the kubernetes folder all right so now we have to you know deploy this yaml file on the kubernetes cluster so what is the command to you know deploy this yml file so the command is kubectl and you have to apply that uh, yml file So you can see that the pod has been created successfully now we have to 
run this pod we know like it's created but how to verify whether it's running is created successfully or not so we are using the cube ctl port forward word and give the uh so the you can see that the pod name is demo web so give the demo web port name and uh, give the host port and and the port which which is going to listen to so i am going to give the 80 okay so now it's listen on this on this url and uh, let me test this i mean I'm, i've already copied it and let me put that url in the browser so that we can see that it's deployed successfully or not so let me put that uh, url 127.0.0 dot one colon five hundred thousand and if you remember that uh, we have to give the controller name that is the weather forecast okay here you can see that uh, we are getting the result so if I refresh it you can see that uh, we are getting the result continuously So we have successfully uh, deployed the application or you can say web API on the Kubernetes cluster. So thank you so much for watching this video.